Hello everybody, this is Fernando for the latest Ghost and Spirits news video. Well, those of you that have followed my channel for a while know that every now and then I like to mix in actual news articles related to the world of Ghosts and Spirits. These are stories that I find there on my beloved Google News app, which of course I have tailored to such subjects there. And in this case, this is a recent article that just came about that I found very, very fascinating. Apparently, if you have enough money today, uh, at least around $175,000 American, there's a good chance you can buy what is considered a very, very haunted village. That's right, the entire village of Lores, they're located in Scotland. Amazing stuff, because when I was reading this information, which I'll share here in just one moment, you get to own basically that entire land. And not only does it come with some very eerie looking backdrops, which you'll see throughout these next few minutes here, but apparently it's very haunted by the ghost of a woman, someone who apparently back in the 17th century could see into the future and local legend and other folklore or especially experiences that people have state that she's still there to this day. So how's that for a bonus? So let's go ahead and let's talk about that here. And that has to do with this lo la this lady of lawyers and how the village of lawyers, you can purchase it today for about $175,000. Great, great stuff. So here's how the news article states. And I was reading several news articles associated with it. So this village of lawyers is located there in Scotland, around the lake, around an area called Loch Tay. In fact, you're looking at a map associated with it here. This is, I don't think like the entire area. I think it's more of a portion that's linked to it. But what you'll get is some ruins that are there from the 17th century. I mean, that's a long time. Basically, they've been deteriorating there ever since. You also get your own private beach. You get a whole bunch of grassy lands associated with it there. But the big, big cherry on top happens to be this the one that of course makes all the news articles there's the idea that there's a ghost of a woman known as the lady of lars who is there haunting that location for whatever reason she stays in that location and if you purchase that land then basically she becomes yours not of course you know she's your own practical ghost but you know what i mean she comes with the land itself so you'll have a good chance of having your own perfect experiences in terms of ghost hunts and other type of paranormal sightings and so on. First, let's talk about the Lady of Lords herself. She was a real woman. Her name was actually Mary Campbell. She lived there in that location, presumably up to the end of her days, basically to her death. And she was there both as a daughter and then later as a wife to several people there. In fact, she was a daughter of a gentleman by the name of Sir James Campbell. Somewhere along the way, though, she became very famous there for her predictions. As it goes, her predictions were pretty much on the dot. Not all of them became true, but most of them did, and they seemed to be pretty accurate. In fact, there was one that stood out specifically as that church was being built in that area there, she predicted that there was going to be, quote unquote, ridging stones that shall never be placed on the roof of the church. As it turns out, these stones were being carried by boat and it was going to be, I think, the completion of the actual church itself. But sure enough, a storm, a very, very bad storm came by and it sank the entire boat. And when that happened, those stones went with it. And so her prediction came true. Now, if you're wondering if that's pure coincidence and, of course, that there are storms that are always associated with the sea, it's possible. But how about this? She stated also that there was going to be a tree near that same church that was going to grow and essentially split the church asunder. She said, when the tree reaches the height of the gable of the church, it will split asunder. And so what happened next? The tree grew and then in 1833, I'm guessing this would have been long after she was gone at that point. That's when the tree reached that height. And then a thunderstorm actually uh, snapped that tree and caused it to fall within the church. And in fact, it caused so much damage that the church itself roof collapsed and then the villagers stopped using it afterwards. So she predicted that that far ahead. And it turned out to be true once again, exactly as soon as that tree grew to a specific height. 
Now, if you're wondering if she had other predictions that came true, she did. She also said that this ash tree, if anyone harmed it, in other words, if anyone did anything bad to it, because I'm guessing there was also remnants that ended up surviving as well of that tree, she said evil will come to him who harms the ash tree. And as it turns out, there was a local farmer there who had heard of this omen, who had heard of this legend, this foretelling that she did, and he had decided to still not follow it. Instead, he famously cut down that tree. And when he did so, soon afterward, a series, a very strong series of bad luck ended up befalling him. His assistant went mad. His horse dropped dead. I'm guessing this was probably one of his favorite horses. And then his own death came about when his own bull gored him. So how about that? All this stuff happened after, not before, but after he cut down that ash tree Again, ignoring the omen that the Lady of Laura said as far as what would happen if anyone does anything to that tree itself. But it goes on and on. There's more other stuff associated with her predicting the fall of Lars itself. As it turns out, it had a large number of residents there, but something happened. It was something either agriculture-wise or animal-wise. I think it might have involved something as far as sheep being introduced to that area or moving away. Either way, though, um, what happened was residents started leaving that location, and it got so small that by the late 1800s, well beyond, again, her time period, that's when there were just seven people. People. And then finally, in 1926, all the citizens of this village, the village of Lourdes, ended up leaving. And there's only one person that apparently is still there to this day. And of course, I'm referring to the Lady of Lourdes herself, Miss Mary Campbell. She's the one that you can find there at that location and that land and everything else that's associated with it, along with her spirit, can be yours if you have the right price. So if you happen to have $175,000 just lying around somewhere, then go ahead. You have a good chance of essentially buying this land and being able to do something with it. Who knows if anyone's gonna, really going to buy it. In fact, I might do a follow-up video sometime soon to see if there's truly a buyer out there. Interestingly enough, the first name that comes to mind and someone that does have both the interest and the money for it is Zach Baggins. And you know him, he, as far as him purchasing very haunted items um, there for his haunted museum and making a very, very public set of news for it. How about this? Imagine him purchasing an entire haunted village, especially by this woman on there. But I don't know, $175,000 is still a lot of money, even for someone as rich as Zach. So I'm wondering if, and again, it's in Scotland, so that's a very, very far away uh, piece of land there as well. So I'm wondering if he would ever truly do something like this. But either way, though, it's just the first person that came to mind. Who knows where everyone else, uh, what everyone else is going to do all together, but that'll be remain to be seen, and I'll do a follow-up video for that. But that's pretty much it. That's the news that I wanted to share here on my Ghosts and Spirits news video. And again, it has to do with the Village of Lars being sold and being apparently very haunted with the Lady of Lars who comes with that land. Fascinating. First time I've ever heard that a piece of land can be sold with a ghost in it. Great, great stuff. But if anybody is there from the Scotland area, knows more information about that area specifically, then please post those comments below. All right, everybody. Thanks again as always. Take care.